We all know that it's super important to enable gzip compression on our websites, but did you know that there are different levels of gzip compression? The scale goes from one to nine, where one is the least compression and nine is the most compressed. Now, doesn't it make sense to utilize level nine compression in order to minimize the amount of data being sent from your server to your clients? Well, perhaps, but you have to remember that a higher compression level results in more CPU usage, not only on the server side, but also on the client side as well when it comes to decompression. So knowing this, I decided to conduct my own set of tests in order to determine for myself what the sweet spot is when it comes to gzip compression levels. Let's check it out. All right guys, so this was a fairly simple set of tests that I ran. I basically ran 10 tests. The first test I turned off gzip compression on my Nginx server and used curl to request a web page on my website in plain text. Next, I iterated from a gzip compression level one to a level nine on my server, each time saving off the compressed file to my computer. As you can quickly see from the file sizes in Finder, there is a substantial difference between the uncompressed web page and the compressed pages. But in order to make it very clear to you about how these gzip compression levels compare to each other, I plotted them on a chart as you can see here, and again, the difference between the uncompressed page on the left and all the compressed pages on the right is quite staggering. Now, in order to get a better idea about how the individual compression levels compare to each other, let's remove the uncompressed data point from the graph. And here you can see that the amount of additional compression happening past level six is negligible when compared to the previous levels. When we look at the size of each file in the chart, you'll notice that there is only one 13,000th of a megabyte difference between level six and level nine. Now I definitely could have made this test more sophisticated by measuring the CPU utilization for each individual compression level, but I personally don't see the benefit in compressing beyond level six, at least for web pages. and the consensus out there on the internet seems to be the same. Pretty much level six is widely accepted as the default compression level for websites. So if you wanna see a video about how to enable gzip compression on your Nginx website, check out this video right here. Subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.